Welcome, welcome to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show. We're right now today we're looking at listing 75% below normal. Is that a true number? Let me check. No, 73% below normal. Now remember, it's not clickbait if it's true. <laughs> Why do I say that? Well, a lot of headlines out there. Listings are 153% up. Listings are 95% up. Listings are skyrocketing. They're everywhere. Well, they are and they aren't. So historically, if you take a look here on this thing here, I'm going to put myself down the bottom here and make it a little bit bigger. Typically, we have 27,254 listings on the market. So right now, we're 73% below that number. Now, are we going to get there? This is our active listings right now down here. This is 2006. 2006, we... We peaked at 47,889. 2007, we hit a high of 57,888. And we're swimming down here with the good old 15,788. Will we get there? It's going to take a lot more people running to the hills for us to get there. And that's what we're not seeing right now. We're not seeing people listing out of panic or out of fear. We're seeing people listing out of opportunity. Got a lot of equity. Let's see if we can grab some of that. That's different than listing out of fear. People are listing because they think that home values are about to go down. So there's some anxiety out there, but there isn't this overall panic. What we're seeing, though, is this wonderful number here. And that is the pending listings are way down. The buyers are knocked out of the market due to affordability. And they're knocked out of the market hard. So they have no choice but to sit it out right now. Those that were looking particularly in the four to 600,000 range are sitting on their hands and they are going to be sitting on their hands until the interest rates adjust. And that could be a long time. That could be well into 2023. Now there are people that are cheerleaders for the crash coming. Nothing out there yet showing a crash is coming because you're going to have to have more of a head for the hills mentality when it comes to listings. But what we're seeing on listings right now is 1,700 of those listings are brand new builds, spec homes that are put on there. Some of them are Airbnbs. Some of them are investor-owned homes where they're unloading maybe their least favorite child of the homes that they're using for a rental. So they're getting rid of some of that. So that's adding to the inventory. But the real driving number for the increase in inventory is not how many people are listing, but how many people are opting out. Remember, we used to add 4,100 homes on the market. And then we go under contract with 4,100 homes when we track the seven-day moving average like this. And that's just the way it went for most of the year. A lot of times the red line was above the blue line. We had more go under contract than what came on. And this is where the fierce bidding wars were, right in here. Now you see there's a big gap between the number of homes under contract and the number of listings that are available. And this gap is growing. Right now it's about 1,800 homes. So that just continues to add to the available homes for sale until these contracts go back up. That's just going to continue. Now, what can we expect and what numbers should we look for? Well, seasonally, we start seeing listings kind of come down in July. That's probably going to happen the next two or three weeks. They'll continue to come down. Sales are not going to pick up anytime soon. They're averaging about 2,800. I suspect they're going to be there for the foreseeable future. Listings tend to come back up in August. Are they going to come up at a quicker rate or a slower rate? Because right now we're adding, we're coming up at about 800 to 1,000 a week. And if that starts climbing to like 1,500, then it's going to be a whole different story by the time we get to late fall. As far as price acceleration, price gains for real estate, that party's over. You're going to see numbers like August was flat. September was down 1%. October was down 1.5. So that's what you're going to see going forward. The year-to-date number is still going to be in positive territory. I don't see us falling off the map. We're at about 19% year-to-date now. I don't see us falling off the map in, in four months to where that ends up being a negative number. So we really need to start watching the numbers closely. Now, we have 1,100 coming soon now. That's about 300 more than normal, two to 300 more than normal. Um, the expired listings are about normal, running about 155 over the past seven days. So that number is not jumping out at us. 
but what is jumping out at us is the number of price changes. 4,000 price changes over the past seven days. That's people lowering their price because they're still of the mindset. They think they can get this price and they're finding out quickly that they can't. So sellers, it's imperative that you nail down that price right off the bat. If you're going to list just to test it, don't, don't waste your real estate agent's time. I can tell you, you're going to fail the test. Don't make the agent pay for the photography, put up the listing sign, put everything on the MLS, spend a few hours getting everything ready to go just so you can go, eh, it didn't work out. If you want to sell, for people that are pricing correctly and offering us some incentives, the market is still brisk for you. Your home will sell. So this isn't dire straits for sellers. For example, let's say you wanted to ask $450,000 for your home. Go ahead and ask four hundred and fifty, dollars but then offer $10,000 for a buyer interest rate buy down. Help lower their payments over the course of their loan. That's just one example, one of the things that you can do instead of lowering your price. It's starting to get very popular right now. When people do that, it moves. Start taking a look at the uh, commission that you're offering the, the buyer's agent because some people have whittled that down to like 1.5%, 2%. Now they're bumping it back up to 3 and uh, trying to attract more agents to show the house. doesn't have that big of an impact, but sometimes it does. So pricing appropriately in this market is going to help you a ton. For buyers, you have time to think about it. You have the ability to ask for some concessions that you weren't getting before. This market has changed dramatically over the past six weeks. And as we watch this summer, we need to watch the acceleration of the number of listings coming on and see if it exceeds what we've seen as an average or if it just kind of stays going along this path because it's going to take a while to get 27,000. We might get there by September. And even if we got there by September, the headlines are going to say we're up 153% plus another 75%. We're up over 250% listings. Well, now we're normal. So make sure you understand what those numbers are showing in the headlines. And on the 20th of July, uh, the National Association of Realtors will come out with the real numbers in June and show you how the market looks. And the market is not looking good. That's going to send some shock waves out there and people are going to start maybe panicking and throw on their house on the market. So stay tuned here at rickandrickhelps.com. Subscribe. I'll keep you up to date on numbers. Take care.